Hey guys. Uh, this lesson is for Tuesday, April 14th. Um, I wanted to take some time today to review for the quiz that we're going to be taking tomorrow. Um, this quiz is number 28, quiz number 28. And I just closed my book here. Let me open it back up. So quiz number 28 is going to be over, um, hold on just a second here. Where'd it go? Okay, quiz number 28 is going to be over sections 9.3 and 9.4, okay? Um, there are nine questions on this quiz, and I'm going to give you some extra credit questions um, to uh, give you an opportunity to help your grade a little bit. But um, the, the test is not really, or the, excuse me, the quiz is not really that hard. Um, so the this is, again, quiz number 28 over sections 9.3 and 9.4, okay? The first three questions um, on this quiz here, let me just map this out, one through three is going to be um, complete the square, okay? Uh, so there's two uh, or three on here that we're going to be completing the square. And basically what they're going to do is they're going to give you something like this, x squared plus um, whatever, 10 uh, x plus what, okay? Um, so we know that completing the square, we would take this number, so 10 times 1 half, um, and then you're going to square that answer, okay? So this would be 5 squared, so this would be 25, okay? Um, now you can put either this number or this number or both. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, but there's going to be three of them like this. So they'll give you this layout like this, and uh, you need to take your linear term, multiply it by one half, and then square it, and that is your third term, okay? So one through three are uh, complete the square, okay? Numbers four through seven are going to be factoring, okay? Um, so we know that the second step um, in these quadratic equations completing the square is once you get the complete square in, then you factor that left side, okay? So basically, um, they're already going to have your third term in there. So you're going to have something like x squared, oh, I don't know, uh, minus 12x plus 36, okay? Um, and then you're going to have to factor this, okay? Um, so we know that this is going to be a perfect square, okay? So it's basically going to be half of um, uh, 36. So we're going to go uh, x plus, uh, actually because you have a negative here, this would be minus, okay, excuse me, minus um, 6 times 6 is 36, okay? So this would be the factor um, of this, all right? So you take your last term, um, basically it's what number um, squared equaled 36. So remember when we have this um, we would take uh, th this middle number and multiply it by one half and then square that number to complete the square. So this number is basically going to be um, this number times one half, okay? So I can always look at my linear equation, negative 12, multiply that by one half. So 12 times one half is a negative 6. And this is going to be my number that goes into my factor, okay? So that's a quick way um, of doing these. So there are four of these, okay? Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my middle term, multiply that by one half, and that's going to be the number that goes into my perfect square. And you can check that by factoring this. Okay, negative 6 times a negative 6 is going to equal 36, okay? So 4 through 7 are going to be uh, like an equation like this, okay? Um, so we have x squared um, minus 12x plus 36, okay? And we're going to have to factor this into x minus 6 squared, and this would be my answer, okay? Um, so there are four of those, okay? That is completing the square, excuse me, factoring each completed square, okay? Um, so four through seven are that is that. And then the last two questions on the quiz um, are going to be solving the quadratic equation. OK, 
okay? Um, so you're going to have the equation, um, and you're going to have to solve it by um, completing uh, the square. Okay, so if I have x squared, okay, how do I solve this by completing the square? Okay, well, I would take my uh, linear term, okay, um, I would multiply it by 1 half, okay, which would be negative 3. I'd square that, and that's the term I add to both sides. So I've got x squared minus 6x minus 3 squared, 7 minus 3 squared. Actually, I guess that sign's in the wrong way. We'd have to add a plus there. Okay, um, and then I would um, factor this. So this would be x, um, let's see, minus, uh, is it minus? Yeah, x minus 3 squared, and then this would be, uh, let's see, positive 9 and 7 would be 16. Okay, and then I would extract the root, okay, which would be x minus 3 equals plus or minus 4, and then you solve for x. So it would be 3 plus or minus 4, and you'd solve for both the plus and the minus. Okay, there are two of these types equations on there, so make sure that you know um, when we're solving quadratic equations, um, the steps for those, okay? So once they're already in the form, which all of these uh, on the quiz are already in the proper form, so there's no moving around the form. So basically your first step um, is to complete the square, okay? Um, and we know how to do that. We take, um, we take the linear term, and multiply it by one half. Okay, and then we square that answer, and then we add it to each side. Okay, so first you complete the square, then you factor. Okay, um, and simplify. So the left side we factor, the right side we simplify. And then after we do that, we extract the root. And by that we mean we put both sides into our a radical sign. Remember your right side has to have that plus minus sign. Make sure you put that in there. After you extract the root, then step number four is just solving for x. Okay, um, And those are your steps for completing the square. So this is the quiz that we'll be taking. Um, we'll be taking this quiz uh, tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, uh, let's see, the 15th, okay? Wednesday the 15th is when we'll take this quiz. Um, it's fairly simple. We shouldn't have too much of a problem as long as we understand completing the square. So make sure that you have a good grasp on how to do that and the steps that you need to do in order to do that. Um, so that is your uh, quiz. You will have an extra credit section, um, and basically what it's going to be is it's going to be different types of different forms of equations. Um, uh, in other words, um, uh, let me just give you a couple examples here. Hang on. Uh, let's see here. Oh, let's see. So I'm going to give you a couple different forms of equations. Okay, so let's say I give you a plus b x equals b plus a x. Okay, um, and I'm going to give you the multiple choice. You'll have um, commutative property. You'll have distributive property. You'll have point slope form. Um, uh, or excuse me, not point slope, but slope intercept form. Uh, you'll have standard form of linear equation. Uh, you'll have standard form of quadratic equation. And then you'll have vertical line. And you'll have to determine which one this one is. Okay, so you'll put that letter, um, whatever it may be, 
um, next to uh, or, or for that answer, okay? Um, and then number two, you'll have uh, another one. So number two will be um, something like this, okay? Well, what is this? All right, well, we know that this is the slope or point slope form. Um, so for number two, you would put your um, answer for whichever one was point, point slope form. So there's different kinds of um, uh, different kinds of equations, okay, um, or properties for these uh, equations. So you'll need to know commutative property. Uh, you'll need to know point slope form. You'll need to know uh, what a vertical line equation would look like. You'll need to know a standard form of linear equation um, and distributive property and um, standard form of a quadratic equation. Okay, so those are the ones that you'll uh, that are that will be extra credit on this quiz. I highly recommend um, that you take the time to look those up and make sure you know what each one is because this will help boost your grade. Okay, um, so make sure that you take some time to study those extra credit ones as well. Now, for today, we're not going to have an actual new material lesson, but I do want you to turn to page number 321. Okay, page 321, there's a little review section at the top. And this review section is review of solving methods. So we've covered several different methods for solving quadratic equations. Okay, um, there's the first section, solve by factoring and check each solution. Um, there's the solve by extracting the root. And then there's the solve by completing the square. There's three different types there uh, in that section. For today's homework, you're going to do the blue tabs. All right, um, so take some time for today's work and um, do numbers 1 through 22, the blue tabs on those um, at the top of page 321, that review of solving methods, okay? Um, and that homework will be due by the end of the day. So uh, by the end of April 14th, um, I need to see your homework for this. Also for today's homework, I want you to take some time and study for that quiz that we'll be taking tomorrow, okay? Um, so make sure that you um, uh, take some time and study for that um, and make sure you know how, how all the different aspects for completing the square and how to find those different things. Um, and then also take some time and, and find look up those extra credit things so that you can be prepared to take that quiz um, and get some extra points on it. Okay, so that's today's lesson um, or today's uh, work for today is just that review section of solving methods on page number 321, just the blue tabs and then study for your quiz, okay? Um, so it shouldn't take too long, but I do want you to um, take some time to uh, make sure that we have these different methods down, okay? Again, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, um, just make sure you get your homework submitted on time and be ready to take that quiz tomorrow. All right, guys, uh, I think that's about it. And if you um, just make sure you get your homework in on time, okay? We don't want to get zeros for no reason. All right, so uh, make sure you submit your homework on time. That's all I have for you today, and hope you have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.